AI shifts wealth to compute owners, devaluing human labor and economic growth. It's not about AI taking your job, no, no. It's about AI making your job economically worthless while the economy booms. Let me explain the nightmare scenario. The paper we won't be missed starts with two simple premises. One, AGI arrives, AG AI that can do any economically valuable task. Two, compute becomes abundant, keeps getting cheaper like Moore's Law. From these two assumptions, the whole economic order collapses. Here's the key insight most people miss. The paper divides all work into two categories. Bottleneck work, essential for growth, energy, logistics, R&D. Accessory work, nice to have, arts, hospitality, therapy. This distinction changes everything. Proposition 1 proves something shocking. AGI will automate all bottleneck work. Not because humans are bad at it, because sustained growth requires it. The economy literally cannot afford to have critical functions limited by fixed human labor supply. So what happens to economic output? Propositions 2 and 3, output becomes a linear function of compute. Growth rate equals compute growth rate. The entire economy's expansion is now tied to one thing, how fast we can scale computational resources. Human labor? Irrelevant. But surely humans will still get paid well for the work we do? Nope. Proposition 4 is brutal. Your wage converges to the cost of the compute needed to replicate your work. Not your skill, not your experience, just how much would the AI version cost? Think about that for a second. As compute gets exponentially cheaper, the ceiling on your wage falls. A surge in salary isn't set by years of training anymore. It's set by what does it cost to run the AI that can do the same surgery. Repl replicatable equals cheap. This leads to the paper's most devastating conclusion. Proposition 5, labor's share of GDP converges to zero. Not because we're unemployed, because wages are capped while GDP grows infinitely with compute. We become economically invisible. So who gets all the money? Answer, the owners of compute. All wealth flows to whoever controls the computational resources. It's like the transition from feudalism, land equals wealth, to capitalism, capital equals wealth. Except now, compute equals wealth. The paper extends this to science itself. Proposition 9 through 11, AGI can automate scientific discovery. This creates compounded growth faster than before, but n not a singularity. Growth is still limited by how fast we can scale compute. Progress, but not infinite. The title, We Won't Be Missed, isn't about job loss. It's about economic irrelevance. The paper proves if tomorrow half the population stopped working, no one would notice. Growth continues, living standards rise, rise just without us mattering. This isn't sci-fi speculation, it's formal economic modeling with propositions and proofs. The questions it raises, how do we distribute wealth in a zero labor share economy?